with the one and only Andre the Beast Creighton and my co-host, the sexy, the one and only Yolanda M. Johnson. What's up, Yolanda? Yolanda M. Smith is good, you know. He, he takes me back to that childhood name every time. Why you do that? You know, because we grew up together. You know, we it's hung out. Good. It's, all, it's good. all good. It's all good. It's you all know what? Good. We're going to keep the ball rolling because yesterday we started the show with both Marcus Dupree and the world-famous Super Bowl Icky Shuffle, Mr. Icky Woods, and we happened to lose Marcus, and you um, came in a little. You was doing your thing. Now you're back, and I couldn't continue this episode without you being here. So See? thanks for being here. That's what we do, you know, Bonnie and Clyde. That's right. Oh, my God. We got to get the tattoos going here. Without further ado, ado, we're going to bring my boy back because we lost him with the Icky Woods debut. My boy, my man, Marcus Dupree. Marcus, what's up, dog? Oh, not much, baby. Not, baby we're trying to, get, we're trying to get, some, uh, get some, eat some Sunday greens today at uh, church. You should have already been there. We had ours, right? Oh, my goodness. It was like Sunday Soul Food Fest. Fried chicken. What else was it? Mashed potatoes and gravy, greens. Cornbread. Coleslaw. And uh, some corn. And, and we won't talk about what's in these cake. cups right here. Either. Oh, no. <laughs> now, y'all know my grandfather was a minister back, you know, back in back in the day, you know, at the church. You know, I'm looking at the wife like, damn, Papa, I wish you'd hear up because I know them, them old sisters in the church, <laughs> they got everything laid out in the back and everything. So, you yeah. know. I, I I didn't hear y'all mention one thing. What's y'all that? said you had the greens, the cornbread, the collard, uh, the corn uh, bread, the ham, the mashed potatoes. You know what you forgot? We prayed. No, 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 no. <laughs> the pound cake. The pound cake. You can't have. You can't. You cannot have Sunday dinner without that sweet tea. Oh. We got it downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is man. funny. Yeah, well, I guess I, I missed out yesterday, but I was uh, trying to, I came in a little bit late. I guess not yesterday, a little little while ago, a yeah, little while yeah. ago. So, Marcus, well, we got some. We got a question we want to ask you, and then we're going to take this thing and we're going to roll with it. Yolanda has something she want to ask you, and I'm going to let you take it from there. Go, Yolanda. Absolutely. You know, we're thinking about you launching this thing called 4th and 22. We're excited to be here. And my question is this, you know, even the boldest coaches question that fourth and down. You're faced with a few options. Maybe you can kick the ball, you can punt it, or you can attempt the field goal, you know, or you can go for it. it it's risky no matter what you do. But if you fail, if you fail. If you fail. If you fail. If you, you fail. know you risk the ridicule, right, of every TV analyst, every armchair quarterback out there in the country so kicking is probably the safest more conventional choice but nope. is that the right nope. one no nope. no nope. you know why kicking is not the first choice all right now because, tell us because too many people will have their hands on the ball depends on the situation now if it's fourth and long and you might have to kick you know you got to kick that's a different situation, but depends on the situation. Depends so, on the situation. If it's four and twenty for me, I don't know. Depends on how far it is and all that. So I'm going. I'm not going to put my hands where three people got to touch. Uh oh. And the game on the line. And it's these kind of answers, just like this, is what you're so, going to get so on his think show. About it. I got to snap it to you. Then you got to hold the ball for Andre. Andre got to focus on kicking. It's too many. <laughs> To me, there's too many things going on. Well, uh -huh. you, you know what, Marcus? This is a deal. It's fourth and 22. Marcus Dupree, what you going to do? <laughs> well, you know, it was left up to me. I turn around and give it to Marcus Dupree. That's, That's what I'm talking two. about. Because <laughs> it's going to be his yeah, show yeah, and it's yeah, going it's down. it's going to be his show. Yeah, so what you going to do? Marcus, <laughs> this sounds like an awesome show where – the Andre the Beast show, me personally, Yolanda. We also have a new show called Walk Me Through That. We all are proud to to back you with this show. Give us a little bit of insight what this show is going to consist of. I know it's going to be packed with energy, but what else? So at the end of the day, first of all, it's going to be about sports. You mm. know, we're going to kick it with everybody. Kick, we're going we're gonna to be able to receive call-ins on our little show and everything, mm. try to upgrade our little show where we can, you know, talk back with the fans. Right. And then we're going to talk about 
finances and insurance. We need to take care of our kids. We need to talk about generational wealth. We're right. going to talk about a little bit about that old boom of kush marijuana, medical marijuana. Uh, we're going to also we're going to have a couple of chefs on. Come on, talk about some cooking. Oh yeah, mm. Maybe some different ways we can cook some greens. And uh -oh. Make sure and, uh, we're there. Make sure we're there for to our. Taste and taste. Jason just had his first set of greens. And he ate his. <laughs> no regrets. No regrets. So, uh, so I've been Who's... doing these movies with these guys. So it's one guy named Sonny uh, Martinelli. He's from New York. And he's never ate, ate uh, oxtails. He's never ate, uh, uh, what is it, neck bones. And he tasted some gravy and some neck bones down in Tupelo, Mississippi. Let me tell you, that's his new nickname. Sonny Neck Bone Martinelli. <laughs> oh my God, this is gonna be so, so exciting. So Marcus, who are some of the guests that we that, that you guys got lined up that's gonna be appearing on the fourth of twenty two? Well, hopefully when we hopefully gonna start at the Nebraska game, we're gonna have Mike Rose here, highest control for winner. Probably get on Billy Sims. Coach Stu was there. We did a little light deal there last time. So we're going to have a Coach Switzer, Barry Switzer, coach for the Cowboys, Earl mm -hmm. Campbell. I'm um, working on getting Morgan Freeman because he lives right up the road from me. Mm -hmm. uh, another guy, maybe uh, uh, Keith Jackson, who I played with, played with the Philadelphia Eagles, played with the uh, oh, yeah, I like you. Tight end. We, tight we end. got so many guys in this area. Anybody could walk up right now. It could be anybody walk through the door right now. And they'll get on the show. So we got too many NFL players here. Well, you also got the Beast, and you got the Beauty, and you got Jason. So <laughs> I really don't think you need nobody else really there. You know, everybody else just, don't, just need don't need nobody Game else. Over. <laughs> Game over. Game over. <laughs> but I'm gonna be repping for the for the for the estrogen. We gotta have some female guests yeah, in there. Yeah, we gotta have some play. female yeah. in there. Yeah, we gonna do that. No doubt. No doubt. That's we gonna have two shelves. So one shelf is a guy playing basketball. And yeah. another, he, he's a chef here in Jackson. Now I got another lady who's actually a hunter. Uh, she uh, cooks. She's a chef, and she also plays golf. So she's an athlete. She's a cheer on the cheer team. So she, her name is Chef Andy D. So she, she's gonna be on the show too. So, right. so we're gonna just mix it up. Mix it up. I like that. Gumbo, gumbo, so, babe. Gumbo. gumbo. <laughs> Need some crab legs. <laughs> so, Marcus, you mentioned the OU Nebraska, the Oklahoma Nebraska game. That that's that's a big rivalry for you guys. When's the last time that the two actually played against I, each other? I, I think it's been over ten years. Yeah, it's maybe. been over ten years. I yeah. know at least uh, at least over six. I know for sure. So it's it's, it's definitely a big rivalry. I think a lot of people, a lot of old school, old legends should be at that game. It should be fun. Uh, hopefully Nebraska is better than what they haven't been in the past, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be a lot of talking crap, talking, you know, smack. So it's going to be a lot of fun that weekend. What about Tommy Frazier and uh, Mike Rozier? Oh, they'll be there. They'll, I just was with them two weeks ago in Tulsa. They came in for a golf tournament for the Chris Cowell Foundation okay. golf tournament, and uh, so we they're gonna be there because okay. they got we all riding together. So you know it's, it's all gonna be good. So I think we might roll up in there, huh? We'll be there ahead of time. I think Marcus already got us ready to go, and we're gonna we're gonna go down there. Let's do it. So Let's Marcus, do it. when the show are you? For the the fans that are that are going to be listening, if they want to reach out to you and just stop by and and greet and meet, uh, will you have a set up there for the fourth and twenty two? How's that going to work? Oh no doubt, uh, we'll be at the cigar bar. Uh, I forgot the name of it was in my face, but uh, right across the street from campus okay. on that Friday night, and okay. Joe, like I said, Joe Washington will be there. He's a legend, Tom, Tom, uh, a legend, Thomas Lott. Uh, 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 all those older guys will be there. The forty-seven team, uh, winning streak team. Some of them will be there. That's okay. living, so okay. they'll be there. So, so it'll be fun. So basically, they, the the fans and stuff, because this will be launched prior to the the show. They can come there and get you know autographs and pictures with you guys as, as yeah. well. Okay, great. No doubt. Okay, no okay. doubt. So name me. I want to say it's the Royal Cigar Shop. The Royal Cigar Shop. Yeah. Okay, where's that? You know, right off the bat, where that's located at? It's, it's right across the street from campus on uh, Campus Corner. Campus Corner in Norman, Oklahoma. Northern Norman, Oklahoma. Norman, o Oklahoma. Norman, Oklahoma. See, you know, I'm writing this down because I'm gonna need to know what spots I need to show up at. Okay, <laughs> I'm not playing. I'm not playing, Marcus. <laughs> so, so, 
Norman, Oklahoma. I got gotcha. you. On Campus Corner. So, Marcus, what? When did this ideal of Fourth and Twenty Two manifest? And what was? The, why did you feel the need to do Fourth and Twenty Two? Was it because you seen football, uh, the game of college, elevate to a whole different level? Well, just being able to sit around and talk with older guys who played the game before, and talk about when them play with guys in my era then you know you got these young guys coming through now so we always just sitting around just keeping it 100 keeping it real mm -hmm. and that's what it wants that's what that I, that is what i want it to be just sitting around keep keeping it real going to different locations seeing how people talk uh, live and talk and act and just just keep it 100 what's the chances of getting my boy ap down there well you know what i hadn't seen ap yet uh you know we we never saw each other yet, so that could be poss That could be a possibility. Maybe, maybe we'll find a way to get this to him. Cause I mean, you know, he he's he's one of you guys. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. he's got to pop in yeah. and 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 make his uh, debut at that game too, as well. Yeah, I'm so, sure he'll be there. Did he resign again? You know what, uh, Jason? Can we pull up to see if AP signed with anybody real quick as we as we interviewing? That's a good question. Cause I don't know. I mean, I. It seems like right now the focus is on Aaron Rodgers and, you know, uh, the the Green Bay Packers trying to basically keep him there. And, and you know, that, that seems yeah. to be the topic of ESPN right now. But that's a good question. We'll look at that. I'm yep. just curious. Yeah. How did you come up with 4th and 22? Let the viewers know why you came up with that name. So at first, my idea was to talk about marijuana and sports. And so we said 4th and twenty. And I got to thinking, why fourth and twenty? You know, we were thinking on the marijuana scale when I was still just mm. keep it on the sports scale. So, twenty-two is my number, mm. as you see in the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then May twenty-second, and then it all—it just had a good ring to it to me. Fourth and twenty-two. So that's that's how I came. So, <laughs> yeah, let's do a quick shift here. We 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 know we got the fourth and twenty-two, but also since I have the opportunity to have you here, as I also want to impact that you also the uh, owner or uh, owner partnership with Boomer Crush. Can you tell the viewers about Boomer that? Boomer Crush. Cush and a little bit yeah. what that what that stems around. So uh, I'm part of a, a overall group uh, attitude altitude brand and so we got my brand up on the, under there. We got Gold Rush. We got a, a drink called Keith. Uh, then we got another, another one called Kaboom. So we're all up under one umbrella. Mm -hmm. And we, it, 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 something that I've been wanting to do, especially with a pain cream. We have a, two pain creams. So with all these NFL players, ex-NFL players, I want them to try it. Uh, some guys have been trying it here, and they like it. Some older people up in Oklahoma have been trying it. They love it. So it's, it's pretty much going off the shelf right now. And just want to be part of a change, you know, just on the ground floor pretty, okay. pretty much and, and watch it grow. You, go ahead. Well, I was just thinking, I, I think one of the things we should clear up is a lot of times when people people have a misunderstanding about CBD and what it can do and the medicinal purposes that it has. Can you just share with the audience a little bit? Because this is not about getting high. Yeah. A right. lot of people, you know, that's some, um, I guess, misconception about you know, marijuana and and CBD. So, like right now, I have a CBD pain cream, which is half CBD, half THC. And a lot of people don't understand that the, the CBD goes in and kills the inflammation, and the THC comes in and 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 kills the pain. And it, it it the CBD opens up the 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 receptors mm -hmm. so that the, the THC can go in and do what it needs to do. So, so they work they work best together. Marcus. This is 2021. Your name's been a legacy since the ESPN, you know, 30 for 30. I don't even want to talk about 30 for 30 because we already talked about my, my feelings on that. I don't believe in that greatest there was bullshit. You are the greatest and you're still the fucking greatest as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I know who I used to want to be when I was carrying the goddamn football. You know what I mean? And at the time it was Billy Sims, then it was you. You know what I mean? So let's just cut the bullshit. So, <laughs> don't you I, love his authenticity? <laughs> <laughs> how important? How important with the shifts, you know, of being 
from bo- from boy to man to where you at now as far as your branding? How important has your branding been now? Because for a while we all was kind of like what's the word I want to use? Kind of dormant, pretty much. And now we have to reinvent ourselves. How difficult of a task was that for you to 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 now adapt to a new generation and a new generation not only of 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 sports but, but an gen- environment but an environment yeah. and entrepreneurship. Well, you know, it's just funny. All I can say is no my God. I mean, I have my granddaughters came in the other day and they were saying, Papa, the, the kids in school already know who you you know, guys already know who you are. How is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just my God. It's just, you know. Yeah. You know, I was saying yesterday that uh guy has a path that we don't know. Right. Don't know where we're going. All we can just go do what we do and, and let God do what he do. And so all I can say is God. I mean, I ain't did. I don't think I did anything special. So, well, you work your purpose, though. You know, you got to give yourself a little bit of credit. When you're out there on a mission to help other people and to serve, you're working in your purpose. And when you work in your purpose, you're right. Then God got to gotta take you there, you know. But you got yeah, you, 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 you yeah. to get started. No you got to so take you, a step. You're right. yeah. I mean, I just do what I do and and, and just what, try to help people. That's and, all I know. And, and what that's, you're that's doing... And what you're doing with Boomer Boomer Cush's Cush as well as the TV show is you now provided some type of brand new economic stabilization, sort of stabilization, into your communities and other surrounding states and communities as well. Right. You know, Mississippi is getting ready to go legal, and you know, if Mississippi made five hundred million, it you know, compared to Oklahoma made almost a billion dollars last year in sales, this would change this whole landscape in Mississippi. Mm, right. you, get, you know. My mom's a school teacher, so that would raise that would help raise school, you know, teacher salaries. It help with the roads, would help with a better school and better just uh, just an overall overall picture. I mean you can't you can't go wrong with it if it's gonna bring money to the state and help people. I would really hope that and I think we talked about this when you was on with, with me and Jason when we went live. I hope that you really take it to a different level and be an ambassador and go to other states and show them exactly what you've accomplished and what you was able to bring into not only your state but other cities as far as creating an an economic environment to provide jobs. And and we really need to, like you just said, we need to get this this one-track mentality that something with this name is, is attached to in a bad way and, yeah. and, and 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 really do our research and educate ourselves on what it actually does and the benefits it and provides the benefits to of a it. lot of people. To It'd be good people. if more people. doctors it, get it in on it too. A lot of people. Yes, it, absolutely. You just, you'd be surprised. I'm, you know, certain states can't. You can't. They're not supposed to have it there. But we work ways to be able to get to people that's sick, and yeah. you wouldn't believe how much change. When people take it and stay consistent with it, it, it changed their whole life. How does that make you feel that these states that you, these cities and states that you've gone into, have actually taken the time to listen and embrace and imp- implement your concept? I mean, I mean, it's going. What we're doing going going to help speak volumes and going to help. It's already speaking for itself. Mm-hmm. And being able to go in and talk to people and show people, you get sometimes you just got to show people. You know, yeah, sometimes yeah. they don't believe what you say. You got to show people. And I just had a call last night. A guy was like, his wife is, is she has bad migraines and 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 she had a stroke. And I mean, she's not getting any better, but she's not getting any worse. But she's able to be comfortable by mm-hmm. eating my gummies. He only gives her a little bit, and it, she has when she spills the migraine come on. She gives it to he gives it to her and, and, and then she's able to rest and sleep like she needs to. Hmm. So to hear people call me and say, Man, thank you. He said, I never would have been thinking I wouldn't give my wife marijuana, but you know, it's time for a change. That's so, right. That's right. When my mother was uh suffering from cancer before she passed, that was one of the things that totally was able to keep her I remember you saying sharing it. it. Absolutely. The thing, you know, that I say to you is that, like you said, you have to show people, but make sure that you're putting these testimonies out there so that they can see firsthand 
the different types of people that it's helping. That way you don't get pigeonholed and niched into one specific market and it can go broad because I know of a case where the woman's child had epilepsy and this right. was the only thing that, that helped yeah. to, you know, to, to, to stop the, the, you know, the attacks, uh, the epileptic episodes, the seizures, seizures. The, the seizures coming right. on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so that, and then that's some, some, that's part of why I wanted to start fourth and 20, well, fourth and 22 is to be able to bring people on because you really can't advertise marijuana. They're not, they don't want you to right. advertise. Right, it, but right. This is, a, this is uh, the podcast to be a way to be able to let people express themselves and then people could, could tell their testimony, what they've been through and mm -hmm. what they're going through or, or somebody in their family going through and it helped them. So. This is a. I think this is a great way to uh, to put that out there. So, are you allowed to have the testimonies on your website or no? Uh, no, you're not really. Not, not really. Not. Okay, so it's still very regulated in how they want you to be able to to yeah. promote it. Yeah. So the podcast would be perfect. I could bring them on. I mean, just the other day when I was doing a pop up event, signing autographs at this at this one dispensary. And this lady walked up to me and she said, "Marcus, you really need to start marketing your pain cream." To women, so me and my friends looking at each other like, what's she talking about? Mm -hmm. So yeah. she yeah. goes, "Well, I use it for my menstrual cramps." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Huh?" I said, "Well, are you willing to say that on camera?" She said, like, "Yeah." And she, we got we went live on my Facebook, and she said she puts it on once in the morning, maybe a little bit in the middle of the day, and she good. Wow. And I said, "Well." You, you heard, I said you you guys heard it here first. You didn't hear it from me. You heard it here first. <laughs> what you, you say? You didn't make that up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to get it. We need to get some of that cream. So, uh, <laughs> back to the fourth, the fourth and twenty-two. Uh, out of, you, you creating a, you created a podcast that's clearly going to blow up, blow up. Who's the one? Who's the, the name? The top three people that you really want on your show that you haven't had a chance to reach out to. Morgan Freeman. Get out of here. Are you serious? Why Morgan Freeman? Because he's a legend. I okay. love him. I love okay. Morgan Freeman. Hey, brother, <laughs> Morgan Freeman taught me to read. Remember, <laughs> remember the Easy Reader? Yeah. Oh, easy company. Reader. Yeah. Morgan yeah. Freeman. Or at least uh, have him do a voiceover for your commercial or something. Okay. I mean, yeah, for, yeah. The, for the show. So he, it, it, like, he was at uh, Ground Zero last night. I, 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 didn't know, I didn't know he was going to be there. I'm friends with Bill Luckett, who partnership with them and we see them all the time right so if i knew he was gonna be in at his club last night i would have went there and did a little pot a little video or whatever uh -huh. but i'll catch up with him because okay. they're just a couple hours from me okay so that's morgan freeman who's number two you get three uh if he don't say our name i'm gonna be pissed oh are we on live <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'll tell yeah, the beast right, that we need right, to right, right, right. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, put us in the top three. I'm excited. All right, we give you, we give you four. <laughs> oh my God. So who's your third, Morgan? Uh, I think I want the Rock on. Yeah, oh, that'll be good. Yeah, Dwayne yeah. Johnson. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. It'll be funny. You're a legend and, uh, in your own mind, aren't hey, you? Hey, got it. If somebody don't, <laughs> if somebody don't pull your card, you know what I mean. I'm gonna pull my own shit. <laughs> That's all right, Marcus. He's a legend in his own mind. <laughs> hey, give me, give me one more, Marcus. Give me one more. Uh, I would love to have on uh, my favorite comedian is Sid the Entertainer. Oh, okay. oh okay. yeah, 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 yeah. That's a yeah. good one. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So. Speaking of these entertainers, you know, we stick still sticking with fourth to twenty two. You got some you just did a movie. Am I allowed to say anything about that? Yeah, yeah. I okay. just did two movies. Okay, let's talk about the one with with, with the with the Duke of Hazards guy. So I did uh John so the first movie we were filming was uh it's called Mysterious Circumstances, where uh Lewis and Clark, you remember the explorers that yeah. were going mm -hmm. across the country. But guess who was leading their ass across the country? Oh, was it a black man? <laughs> <laughs> we know the we know the trails, dog. <laughs> Let me take you west. <laughs> so the, his real name is York. I heard Columbus didn't get here by himself either. We, right. we was so, right uh, there. His name is York, and I played in the movie. My friend changed it to Tom, but. Actually, I'm playing the character York, okay. which has a statue in Louisville, Kentucky. 
So I started doing research on him, and it's, he was the guy who took him across, all across. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to have been a free slave, and then at the, in the, when uh, Lewis got killed, Clark wouldn't let him go. Right. And so he wanted to go home and see his family. He wouldn't let him, you know, he said, I've been, you know, boss, I've been carrying y'all all the way through this doggone wood. I just want to go see my family sometime, right. boss. And I, that's a line in the, in the movie, too, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Look, he remembering all his stuff. Cut. <laughs> Retake. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He practiced. But, uh, they wouldn't let him go and end up selling him to, a, which he supposed to have been free, end up selling him to an old guy. So nobody never heard from New York after that. But. Mm -hmm. When you Don't did you your think if he was dark, was able to take them all across the United States and back. So they say he can't. They nobody never found him. Right. So he don't left whoever they sold him to. Don't you think he don't made his way back to Louisville, Kentucky, and yeah. got his family and disappeared or went to Canada or whatever? Right. Right. I mean, they, so you know they say they can't. And nobody found him, but I mean. They wouldn't find me if I know my way around the country like that. When you did your research on him, because naturally you're you're playing a, a, a part, and you did your research on him, did you, did he navigate through the Underground Railroad trails that, that African Americans used to migrate to go to the Exorcist to Canada? So far, I, I didn't read that. I didn't read any of that. Okay. He just knew where to go. He just knew. Okay. He knew Instinct, where he knew where not to go here, not to go there. I mean, he took them everywhere. Okay. I mean, from the west coast all across to the east coast. So, who was you working with on this movie? Who was the who were some of the main characters? I mean, the main actors that we might know to this day or uh, back well, in Sonny, the day. Sonny Martinelli played on ER and also uh, New York PD Blue. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Lance Nichols is, is one of the characters in Queen of the South. Okay. Oh yeah, I like that. That's he my show. On the last three episodes, the three episodes back, they just killed him in the in the scene. Mm. Uh, he was one of the dope guys that got the other black guy started. Okay. And then remember, if you saw the show a couple of weeks ago, the black guy went to jail, and then he was still out. And but then uh, Teresa, Teresa Mendoza had him killed because he was threatening her. So. Spoiler yeah, alert. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, I, w I wasn't quite there yet. Dang it. Uh. So, so, oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the other movie that you do that you did, that you work, uh, worked on? We, I did another movie down at John Snyder's studio a couple of days after I finished that one. Is that the uh, one with the pictures? He's doing one called Poker Run. He has, a, he has a studio down in his place in Louisiana, so we went down there and did that. Mm. Came back home, so I just got another part cast to me uh, called uh, the, 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 the Effect 2 or something Infinity 2 or something like that I have to oh, go look back. you doing the thing what, what, now what are you playing a cyborg what, what, what's going on you, you was a cowboy in that a one it's sci-fi drama they say drama whatever but I'm I was told I'm gonna, my character's going to be I collect the money for the mob Okay, that's ah, what I yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, I like when those guys. Old, when you old, I gotta come see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's you. exciting. You got a lot going on, dude. I tell you yeah, what. So we uh, also John just called me the other day, and he's he, you know John plays on you know they cancel the the have and the have nots. So we were getting ready to do a part on there, and they they canceled it. So John's gonna start. I heard he's gonna start some type of series. Next, uh, some similar to that. Is this John well, that Snyder? That thing ran forever. Is this John yeah, Snyder? Yeah, John Snyder. Now you play. Is, are you sent me the pictures when you was on set? Are you playing a cowboy with John Snyder? No, I was, it was slave. I was a free slave. You're a free slave. I, okay. I was a free. I was a free slave, boss. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the pictures. Like I'm like, what? cowboy. <laughs> Every picture you sent me, I thought he was. I thought he was, was a cowboy. Doing, it was during the 1800s. <laughs> okay. So yeah. they all was dressed, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, well, I tell you what, we got any more questions? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm Marcus, good. what should the view? How can the when when will Fourth and Twenty Two actually go live? Well, I'm waiting on when Jason tells me what piece to put on uh, to make it go through the computer. 
It's the, se it's the second piece. You just plug it into the round hole, and then you're good. <laughs> grab any piece over and then stick it in. <laughs> oh, my no, God. No, but uh, hopefully we might do a little light run within the next two weeks. i got to figure out all this shooting that schedule with the filming and then running back to Oklahoma and then try to do so we might start doing a little remote or whatever, but we're going to hopefully start within the next week. They can go to my face, go to 4 from 22 Facebook. Okay, 4 from 22 Facebook. They'll know what's up. Or my Facebook, or Boomer Kush Facebook, or Instagram, somewhere. We'll find it. We'll pop up. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, hold on, Marcus. Let me see the wrist before we get off here. Let me see the wrist. There we go. There we go. Is that the new one? Is that the new one? <laughs> I like that, dog. I like that. <laughs> Every time we have you on, we gotta show Always our we gotta a we gotta show our victim. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Marcus Dupree, fourth to twenty two. Like to thank my co host Yolanda, the most beautiful woman in the world. You're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's really trying to get some things going. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Marcus, thanks for being on the show. And we, people, make sure you like, share, share, subscribe, and comment. And follow Marcus Dupree, not only on Boomer Kush, but also on 4th and 22. 22. Tune in to the new show, Walk Me Through That with Deborah Riley. This has been Andre the Beast, and you have been watching the Andre the Beast show. Show, 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 show